welcome to my doings. It's me, Keith Lemon, hence it's Keith Lemon's doings. Like and subscribe if you like it and you want to subscribe to it, or if you don't like it, don't like it and don't subscribe it to it. Don't just subscribe to it. But if you want to subscribe to it, subscribe to it. And if you want to like it, like it. But if you don't want to like it, don't like it. Don't have to like it. So it's getting closer to Halloween. A little while ago, I made a Slimer from Ghostbusters costume. Time to take the form of Slimer from Ghostbusters. What I'm gonna do now is use, um, what's it called? Bubble wrap to sculpt his face. The sun has come out, it's finally stopped raining, so I'm gonna give it a once over with the green spray. Got a bit of wet on me knee. He's at this state now, he's been sprayed. Now I'm gonna add some details with my acrylic paints. And there you have him, Slimer from Ghostbusters. Right, I'm off to Boozer. The other day I made this little ghost trap remote control car thing as featured in Ghostbusters Afterlife. Do you want to see it go? That was exciting, wasn't it? So still not sure what I'm going to dress as on Halloween. Made the Slimer costume. Then I thought, you know what? I'll try another ghost from Ghostbusters. This is me making the library ghost from Ghostbusters. Starting with a pile of Amazon boxes. <laughs> God knows what this music is. I've run out of copyright free music. I'm just using iMovie music. I'll have to bear with. I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it. I don't like this music either. That's totally wrong. I'm going to try something else. I'm sorry. What else have I got? Acoustic Sunrise, 1 minute 18, that'll do. If anyone's got any copyright free music they want to send me, then um, comment below. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about the music. cheese ball as well i'll tell you what i'll just talk through it i'm just making the mouth i've used bubble wrap and cardboard so i always use i'm painting it with acrylic this is me painting the tongue um you can see i've got a great ghostbusters book there in the corner that's what i'm using as reference just painting the tongue it's better to start with the mouth because it's hard to paint inside it i'm using super sculpe which is what i usually use to make the teeth just just making the teeth, run out of music, run out of good music. They started all right, this music, and then it just went a bit cheese ball, didn't it? it quite repetitive. Uh, just sticking it on with a hot glue gun, I've said this before. You'll use expletives if that glue hits your skin, it really hurts. Run out of music, but soon I'm about to talk in camera. Look, nearly done the face. Um, I get cardboard masking tape. Um, I'm going to talk now in vision. I remember talking on this next bit. I'm going to... Uh, it's going to dissolve cut to the close of the face. So this is where I am with it. I've not filmed the journey because it was a difficult journey. This has been a really tough one. I was having a lot of trouble with the face. 
this. I've used Super Sculpt here on top of some tin foil and then I carefully took it off and then glued it to the masking tape head that wasn't coming on so well. It looks all right from a distance. I think it'll work in the dark. The hair is just a wig that I found in the loft. I have such things in my loft. As you can see, it, it's starting to resemble the library ghost from Ghostbusters. I bought this, which I'm gonna rip up and turn into the dress, which will be bedraggled and ghostly like. So his other arm fell off. I've got to cover it in this liquid latex anyway. It stinks like cat piss. So the face didn't bang on, um, I had a lot of trouble with it. But the colours, quite similar. You can still see a lot of the masking tape, but I don't think it matters. I just put that sort of pinky purpley wash all over it. Ripped up a bed sheet that I bought from Tesco's. The hair's pretty good. Doesn't look bang on, but you can tell where it's supposed to be and it's still pretty scary. So, job done. It's quite me. It's <laughs> quite happy with it, really. <laughs> Halloween music. Hello. Also, whilst I'm here, I just want to show you this. It's the NECA American Werewolf in London Ultimate Nightmare Demons figure. Got a lovely holographic sticker on the front. Look at that. And inside, you've, you've got this lovely figure. You get the, all the demon heads, but just one body to entice you to buy um, all four of these. Buy four of these and stick those heads on. But I'll just buy the one. But it's a very good figure as always. Necker smashing it out of the park, as they say, and um, it's got a lovely, that's not holographic, I don't know what it's called, can't remember what it's called, but it kind of moves and it makes your eyes go nuts when you look at it for too long. <laughs> Proper geek out session this one, isn't it? Anyway, like and subscribe, if I don't see you for a week, I see you for a window, good luck with your business, all best.